Hello Curly Crew, it's Mary and welcome back to the Curly Closet. So as you can see, this was my first ever braids video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my first ever feeding braids on my very thick, luscious, pregnant hair. So <laughs> I use this extra firm hold, perfect edges, edge control from Cream of Nature. It started to go wrong here. I don't know why I had the freed spray, but I thought that would help to set my hair. I was wrong. Um, I've used the same smart braid hair that I used in the first ever braids video. I was just looking in the camera here like, wow, my hair is really, it's really going. <laughs> so I have divided my hair into two. You can see that I have separated out some strands of hair. I have, I think about 10 in total. Lie, it's eight. But the the end strands are actually a bit thicker than the earlier ones, so the ones on the left are a little bit thinner. On reflection, I should have probably made them all the same size, uh, but you're going to see later on the effect that it's, it's had on my hair. It turned out okay, but it could have been better. So I'm starting off by adding edge control to my edges. You're going to see a bit of dry scalp, but don't worry, I'm going to sort that out a bit later. But anyway, before you start doing the kind of braid in motion it's a good idea to just do your edges a bit it just makes things a bit smoother even if you have to go back in and redo it at the end but it just helps to lay everything down the way you want to and then I'm adding some more edge control to the center parting I just want everything to be as smooth as possible so this is going to be attempt number one so it's two feed in braids I guess it's not meant to be complicated and when you watch YouTube videos it doesn't seem that bad but trust and believe when you try to do this on yourself, it's a whole different kettle of fish. So I'm starting with the right hand side and I've taken one piece of hair to feed in. Now there's a particular technique to how you feed in the hair. I've found two different ones on different YouTube videos, but I just decided to just try this particular one I thought it'd be a bit easier you kind of hook the hair under one finger and then you keep going and then when you come back around to the right hand side you tuck the other piece under like I, I tried it and it worked okay and I thought okay cool this is this is working okay this is looking kind of smooth we're going okay let's pop in another one but yeah for this attempt this is where this started to go wrong so I I, I like try to hook this one under my finger put my you know just carried on braiding like cane row and everything was nice but then when I started to pull my hand through yeah it was a fail it just pulled all the hair through and it just wasn't working <laughs> attempt number two now I was just struggling here like okay maybe I should feed in this hair like over the top of my hand <laughs> just I just felt like it might be a bit more comfortable I went back and tried it again and then I just got I just got confused at this point I was like wait hold on okay let me try to try this again over the hand um hook it under hook, hook it under uh yeah okay. okay so attempt number three I'm doing my cane row or corner row going down everything's going nicely so far we're going okay so again we come to the bit where we need to start feeding in some hair so I've got another piece of hair again and yeah just trying to find the right moment to kind of hook it under your hand without kind of mixing it into your hair in the wrong moment it's it's a challenge <laughs> and I really wanted to do this video because the thing is as youtubers we always show you like the successful attempts at stuff we don't often show you when it goes wrong so i just thought that this would be a fun video i hope you like it too so yeah thumbs up if you enjoy seeing youtubers getting things wrong but yeah as you can see for this attempt i did start again but i didn't completely give up because i was like okay look i'm doing okay i just need to straighten out the hair so yeah i kind of started again but it wasn't a give up on my attempt and as you can see i got there like i started you know getting it to work through my hair but then at this point yeah I just count that as a fail because it just it just it looks fine on camera but when I looked at it in the mirror it just didn't look the way I wanted it to look so here we go with attempt number four now this is all very sped up because 
the truth is I try to take my time with all of these attempts because there's no point trying to rush this. This is one of those styles that you can rush if you know what you're doing. But since this was my first ever attempt at feeding braids, I just thought, do you know what? Let me just take my time. But obviously for the purposes of the video, I had to speed it up a bit. That was a fail. And the reason that was a fail was because like my hair and the braids and hair just got all mixed up together. It literally got tangled and I just couldn't carry on. So attempt number five. I've got a piece of braiding hair that I've like gotten yeah yeah it's, it's been fed in at one point here and we're just trying to carry on and tuck it under this is going okay carry on with the cane rowing I'm just trying to fix my hair at the front some bits look like they're kind of sticking up a bit but it's okay like I'm taking my time we're getting there okay so piece of feeding hair number two um, and just trying to make sure that it's kind of like flat enough from the front and also from the center of my hair. The thing about this style is sometimes the simplest styles are actually the most complicated. The reason being is because it's so simple, any mistakes are very, very easy to spot for the most part. So yeah, anyway, you can see here, I've gotten a bit further than with the others. I have gotten to the third piece of feed and hair and I feel like I've gotten a bit more of the hang of it now. It's getting a bit more challenging because, yeah, it's getting to the real thickest part of my hair. But do you know what? It's okay because we're getting there. And I've gotten the hang of it. So, again, feed in piece of braided hair number four. Um, essentially from hair, I, I counted this as a type of success. <laughs> this was successful even though... I had to kind of go back a bit and like undo this and then like redo the braid because like something was sticking out that shouldn't have been but again I didn't like take the whole thing out and start again I just took it back a bit put the braid in here and again and Yay. yeah I counted that as a success I'm going to show you how the end of the braid looks with the second braid so here we are on the second side again edge control to the center and to the front of my hair just moving everything down because you know if you prep properly then it should help the style to look better when you actually do your cane row corn row by the way guys um my family is jamaican so we say cane row i know in america you guys say corn row but anyway just so just so you know if you hear cane row that's that's the reason why it's a jamaican thing so i hear i have cane rowed down yeah i would say five or six hands of my hand and then here I am beginning to feed in hair again so you can see here I have done the first feed in braid and um, sorry the first feed in uh, strand of braid in hair and from here it kind of went very very smoothly I think the, the first side my right hand side was just like the practice side but I feel like once I kind of got it done well on that side then my left hand side was just a lot easier to do um, of course, I still had to take my time with it. It was still a bit of a challenge in some places. Um, the main thing was A, just making sure that I fed in the hair properly. Um, and B, just making sure that when I actually, when I fed in the braiding hair, that I didn't pull it through in the wrong direction. Yeah, it's just, again, you think it's simple, but between your hair and the braiding hair, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's really a lot. This second side actually ended up being a lot smoother than the first side even though you can see that I've got like a bit of a bump in my hair at the top but that's fine because I'm going to sort that out a bit later on and I'm going to show you what I did to fix that it's very simple so as you can see I'm continuing to feed in hair towards um going down to the nape of my neck um this was had a slightly different challenge in that I couldn't fully see what was going on at the back like I have a mirror of course but it's not that easy to do the back so you just have to kind of feel your way through but it wasn't too bad and I was pretty happy at this point because my canary really looked like yeah I was having a successful time on this side I think one of my mistakes for this style was that I didn't continue to add braiding hair here which is what i think i should have done because as it goes down to the end you're going to see like the braids start to look a bit thin it doesn't look bad overall but it started to look thinner than the the rest of my hair so it's like it goes from thick to quite thin to me a little bit too quickly 
but that's okay like as a first attempt it wasn't too bad so to fix that bump in my hair I've taken some edge control I've smoothed it over that area and then I just take a hairpin and I pin it right next to the cane root so you can't see the pin all you can see is like the smooth hair on top that's literally all I've done to fix that and then I've added a bit more edge control just to fix the front hairline of my hair now this I don't what was I thinking what was I really thinking I was thinking that I didn't have like set in foam but I did have yeah <laughs> I did have some of this free spray so I thought okay let me just try this but this ended up being a fail because yeah it left a ton of white residue on my hair um, I went back and added some more edge control to kind of smooth out the white pieces and then reset it and it took out like some of the white but it really didn't take it all out I was very happy with the way that the actual cane rows turned out they turned out great and I was really happy with the length I just think that the braids could have definitely been e more evened out I think that they could have been thicker coming down towards the ends and going into thin a little bit more gradually but that's okay that's what happens when you have a first attempt at a style I'm just showing you from the side and the back with of course baby Zach <laughs> we're still growing at that point this is the white residue it wasn't cute I got compliments on this style but I was not happy with this white residue at all and that aspect was definitely a fail but anyway this is a style I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you have ever struggled with a protective style I want you to give this video a thumbs up and comment below and actually I'd be really interested to know what would you rate this style especially as a first attempt leave your ratings <laughs> in the comments below the video wishing you health happiness and beautiful hair I'll see you again soon take care bye